Hey, what's up everybody? It is Chris coming to you with another one of my crazy crossroads. I'm here with Big Joey C from Urban Ghost Urban Explorations. We are actually at this house. It's in a residential area. Um, this place is really creepy. It's been sitting forever. I have a very good friend of mine that led us into this house. His uh, wife actually is one of the investors. They own this property. And uh, he was actually um, the head of a SWAT team that took down uh, a gentleman, I shouldn't say gentleman, that's far from a gentleman, uh, a man that committed a very heinous murder in the house right behind here. Um, it was part of a uh, race hate uh, group. It actually was on A&E uh, about how he almost got away with it. Um, anyway, this house is affiliated with it. Um, there was rumors that there were some cadavers in this attic and come to find out there were. Um, they could not connect it back to him or the hate group as of yet, um, but it is still under investigation. Um, she has said that this house is very haunted. She wants a cleanse of it, but invited us to come through to do what we do first. Um, so they're giving us opportunity to come here uh, tonight, Joe and I, and then we're also gonna be able to come back and do a 30 minute in this house. So. We're definitely a little freaked out, but uh, we're going to do our thing, so we'll see you guys inside. All right, guys, so this house is definitely going to be a right, guys, mass house because this is pretty bad in here. Um, there is a shed off the back there as well, and I will show you this because this house was actually, they tried to board it up, so we were able to take the boards down. So. This is going to be uh, definitely a creepy thing because this this touches uh, this comes close to home for me because my uh, one of my best friends is the uh, the cop that sort of solved this case. So uh, ironically, his wife is one of the investors, so uh, she got to get us into this house. But I'm really freaked out already because I know what happened. So. A very tiny house. Very tiny. Sort of like the uh, White House. So I'm going to head in. Now, the attic, I believe, is back here. So. Very, very tiny house, guys. Very tiny house. And it's supposed to be very, very haunted as well. So this was the kitchen you know, area. Uh, Cost of everything that happened here. Maybe we should do a little prayer before we start. Would you yeah. be okay with that? Yeah, that's a good idea. And my camera lens is all fogged. Right. We're gonna start this off with a prayer like we always do. Um, so thank you guys for joining us in this prayer if you like. Dear Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, thank you for being my Savior. It's through you, Christ, who I know all things are possible. We ask that you protect us tonight, that you give a blessing to whoever watches this video as well. And please keep us safe. Amen. Amen. All right. This house is really small, so we're going to be extra quiet. So, it is, the house is gutted. The investor wants to fix it up and sell it. The house is for sale. If anybody watching wants to buy it, let me know. It's really a nice little house. And I think you can get it for like 40 grand, so. This was a utility closet. Utility room. That leads into the attic, some sort of exhaust area. bones up here. So, I don't know if this, I said it was in this back room up here. Where's that? This 
This is a freaky place, bro. What is this? Where did this come from? What's that? Is this from your camera or something? Yeah. It just dropped right here. That's from your mask. Let me see. Yeah, your mask. Oh, no. Yeah. Which side? The other side. Oh. I, can't, I can't tell. Oh, well. Can you put it on for me? Yeah. Sorry, guys. Let me hold this for a second. I'm going to try to fix Chris's mask. And to go under your thing here. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joe. <laughs> oh, 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 what? Ah. Oh. Hold on, it's not snapping. Ah. I think we're good. I, yeah, we're good. Alright. See, that's what we do for each other. We help each other with our facial masks. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, it's not staying on. Okay. Joe, there's a candle in here. It looks like a nice candle. There's a candle that's like barely lit. Looks like a Yankee candle. This is it. This is what he said. He found so I can hear guys is where they found the cadaver bones. Oh, we're gonna take a pee. You're taller, Joe. Man, oh, let me tell you something. Just the thought of this. You go up for yeah, it's creeping me out. Sorry, Joe. There you go. Oh, there's stuff up here still. They said um, there were things in like hefty bags or bones. And individual hefty bags. Bro, look at this. There's a bunch of needles over here. Hypodermic needles. Oh. Joe, I can't get over how. See people coming here for drugs. Look at that up there. And the guys were going up. They shouldn't be coming in here anymore because this place has been boarded. My thoughts and prayers go out to the families and loved ones that were all involved in this crazy chaos here. And just knowing that I was able to stick my camera in the area where they found bodies, cadavers. Just really, uh, really got to me. That just really got to me, Joe. You know that? Just the thought of that. Have the sadness. Yeah, the sadness all over. There's also a shed out back in the city house that we've got our own in, too. Man. I'm just going to try and be real quiet, guys. Look at the camera, it's getting blurry.
It was a. Uh, what freak was that? Did you swing the candle? No. It was some children that were involved in this. And uh, how they solved this whole case and found this and the connecting houses. And there's a compound um, from the hate group right off the back of this house. Um, but just to know that there were children involved in this, it's so just, just heartbreaking. We both have an overwhelming sadness in this house. What was that? Maybe that was Chris. I don't know, but um, there's an overwhelming sadness in this house. We're going to do a lights out here. Guys, I actually hear stuff. I'm just really having a hard time. I didn't realize how how um, how sad that would be. And I know the uh, I know the case intimately because of uh, my friend. So. And this, this is all boarded and locked up, guys, so we are going to head over to the um, shed in a little bit, check it out. This place has really got me freaked out. I'm it's sad, man. I'm really sad. I got the static camera back there, so maybe we should do a lights out. I'm hearing, I'm hearing things, Jeff. Yeah, me too. But it's just, I'm so overwhelmed with sadness. Yeah, me too, brother. Me too. Let's do a light out. You know what? Maybe we, there is a candle there. You want to light it? You can do light it so this way they have at least a little bit of light. You got your lighter? Um, it's in the car. You can get it. Under. I was definitely excited about getting here, and now that I'm here, I just am just really sad, guys. Really sad. I'm gonna regroup. We're gonna finish this investigation.
All right, guys, we're gonna do lights out. I'm sure you heard Joe. We're gonna do this with the candle. Is there anybody here? Let yourself be known. Why was this candle here? Is somebody using this to live in here? Which I can't even imagine. Like, how is it possible that somebody could even be staying here? So crazy. Hello? What the frick is that? If somebody died here and we ask that you please help any spirits that are here, I, 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 uh, I feel a tremendous amount of sadness in this house and overwhelming heat. I mean, I mean maybe you, Jesus Christ, we ask and pray that all be okay. What was that? I'm not going to stop my prayer. Through you, Jesus Christ, that we, we ask for your name, Heavenly Father, Amen. Turn it on, turn it on. Look, look how blurry this is. Oh, the light bulb is exploding. Huh? What the fuck does that happen? How did that happen? No, it wasn't there to begin with. Yeah, there was a light bulb in there. Now it's exploded all over the floor. What the hell, dude? You sure? There's no electricity in this house. Mm -hmm. I'm positive of that. There's not even an electrical box. God. Oh my goodness, Joe. Are you freaking kidding me? Did that really happen just now? I'm not, I mean, I'm in awe. <laughs> Are you positive that the bulb was there? Yeah, because I remember walking in here and seeing a light bulb on that socket. Alright, let's have uh, one. You know, honestly. 
that was that was crazy. All right. Yep, there's definitely no electric in this house. Oh, that is unbelievable. There's, I just looked at the electrical box. Yeah. Alright, yeah, that means we're gonna stay in here a little bit longer. I'm gonna put this up here. You know what? Yeah, mine, mine was getting blurry. Right after that happened, it got real blurry. All right, guys, I have no way to explain that. And, uh... So, something's going on here. Here's another one. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. So I went from being sad, uh, sad to freaked out. <laughs> In a matter of seconds, I'm just stepping out so that Joe can talk to his camera a little too. So we're gonna be going back in there. Keep getting this may not be paranormal. I don't know. I want to state that for the record. I'm not, I don't know how this popped. If anybody has any ideas, uh, it could be paranormal. It could be, and you're 100% certain it was a bowl in there, right? Yeah, because I remember looking at it. I was like, Would you look at it? Just look at Just this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at <laughs> this. Jeez, we try to bring humor to these videos too, guys, but we're scared of crap. Like, trust me. Guys. Yeah, I'm definitely, that definitely got me freaked out. Alright, well. Alright, I want to do it again. I do. I do. Let's do it. Alright. Guys, we're going to go lights out again. Yeah, we have to. I want to hear for voices. This time we want to be dead silent. This overwhelm me in there for a second, like, I don't know. You know, maybe we should check out. Yeah. The shed. The shed. We're gonna go check this shed out, guys. The story is the shed also had cadaver bones in it. 
I don't think we can get into the shed, guys, but we might be able to... Uh, yeah, there's a deadbolt, so... I can't get my camera in there, either. Yeah, we can't get in there, Joe. Can't get in there, guys. I can't get in there. I'm going to actually shut my camera off for a minute because... Uh, no, I don't feel too great either. I'm, I think Chris has been feeling well. I know I'm not feeling well. Are you good now? Yeah. Are you good now? Alright. So to be quite honest, guys, I think I'm... My emotions, I think, are getting the best of me on this one, so... That light busting and freaky. I turned it off because I just didn't feel right. And just to know that this house right back here, right behind me, um, there was a gruesome murder there as well. So I'm gonna kind of finish this up, guys, and really contemplate the 30 minute alone. There is so much traffic on this street. You know, they say the freaks come out at night. The freaks are coming out at night. I'm really looking forward to watching this back because that, that light bulb, I don't know if that was up there. Joe says it was. He said he saw it, so. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't feel right about this at all, Chris. And very seldom do I worry so hard about a place. Oh. Look at that. Shh. Shh. Don't move, Joe. before.
the strangest feeling I could ever imagine. It's unexplainable. Alright guys, we're done um, for tonight. Just have this really weird feeling like uh, like I'm entranced. Kind of lightheaded, somber, sad. I don't get it. I really don't get it, but all right, so here's the game plan. So we have access to this house. We only have a few more days till we leave for New York. Um, I'm gonna try and come back tomorrow. Or Joe's gonna try and come back tomorrow. We're gonna try and do a 30 minute in here. Um, that's the deal. We're, we're allowed to be in here for one collab and a 30 minute each. So um, I hope you guys like this, uh, this video. As always, check out the merch down below. Um, I really appreciate you guys coming along with uh, with me for this uh, crazy experience. Like I said, this one really um, really uh, really cuts me deep because I know a lot of details that a lot of people in the public don't know um, on this case, and uh, just heartbreaking stories. So I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe, share, like, check out everything down below. I will see you guys soon. Love you. Peace.